Welcome back to Striker 101 Productions and today I'm going to show you how to get the skull bow. Now right here it's near a uh, double tap at the eyes interact map. You shoot that circle and then the piece falls out and you collect it. And then you head back to the ritual room which is that circular room over between the upper courtyard and uh, the tunnel down into Mule Kick. And here we go. Now once you get down here, see that one tile right in the center of that circle glowing. Now what you have to do is get a zombie right over that tile. And he does have to be right over that tile. And you have to melee kill the zombie in order for it to break out. And then that urn right there will uh, come up out of there. I just got to this other guy's in the way he was trying to do the same bow but I went and got the piece to start the quest but anyways I started it and the urn will float up into the right below that chandelier in that room and now I'm going to go collect the six skulls you have to collect six and right up here is the first one right there on that cell and then uh, make my way to the second skull which is down in by Mule Kick. It's right in that room Mule Kick's in. Which is, see the urn there above the thing hovering. And the next skull is right there. Now I'm going to make my way down through, open this gate. And the next skull is over by Double Tap. And if you don't look for it, you might miss it. But the skulls are always in the same place. And right there it is. Right there by that shelving up on the broken wall. Now, the next skull is up in Samantha's room in the toy box. And we're headed that way. And it does get to be a pain in the butt having zombies trucking all over the place. But right there's the toy box. I just grabbed the skull out of it. And uh, now we're going to head down into the room to teleport to the launch pad. Now I did forget to grab one skull. I get that the la as the last skull. Typically I usually grab it when I go into this room but if you go right right there there's a sink there there's a skull in that sink right next to the window which I forgot to grab at that time but I do get it it's the last skull I get right after I teleport back from uh, getting the skull out here which is in the back of this truck it's right there and uh, I'm gonna go over here to the teleporter and teleport back And uh, this guy paid for it because I didn't have the money to get back. And uh, here we go. Yeah, that Cheetos and uh, Smiley and Brotherhood. He actually left before we were all done with this video. But here I go to get the last skull. And it's in that sink right there. And there we go. I have all the skulls. And... Uh, I'm heading back to the ritual room for the skull bow. And we're going to use uh, the jump point here to get up into the courtyard there. It's a heck of a lot faster than running it. And as you can see, all six skulls are automatically here. And now at this point, it tells me to uh, bring the broken. So, you know, you can sacrifice the broken. And the broken is crawlers. You got to make six crawlers, and uh, to get that ritual, that part of the, you know, done to get the bow. And you know, such a low round, it's a pain in the butt to get six crawlers, unless you use grenades. You know, what you do is you train up a bunch of zombies out there in the courtyard. You know, hold a grenade for like three seconds, drop it with them chasing you, and you. Can sometimes get six crawlers all at once using a the bow in this low of a round it, it just kills the zombie right now i mean round 12 and higher you are more apt to get crawlers that way and there i got one crawler with a grenade 
And now because that ritual point has started for the one crawler, I'm able to, you know, kill these zombies with the bow. It ain't going to kill it. If it was outside the circle, it, it would have killed the crawler. Now I got two more crawlers coming in here. And uh, see how the skull attacks each uh, crawler that comes in there. Now I got three more crawlers I got to get. And it'll show that. So as the video moves along um, I guess I could have cut some more of this out of there because I'm done talking already for this section <laughs> but here we go I'm going to make the rest of the crawlers What also doesn't help is when you get someone else come up into this courtyard while well, you're trying to, you know, train zombies to make crawlers. And they come up into the courtyard, you know, and break up your train and it can be a big pain in the butt. Now, I'm going to attempt to do this later on today, maybe, by myself. And, uh, you know, now that I've done it once, it's going to be easy as heck for me to, you know, maybe get it again. But I'm going to attempt it. I mean, I've attempted the electric bow by myself and failed. But eventually I will be able to do all this by myself because it's so much easier sometimes to do things by yourself and not have people, you know, breaking your trains or interfering and, you know, at some point. And it's really not their fault, you know. They're playing the game trying to get their bows too, but it does happen, you know. And you could be like hoarding a bunch of zombies and shit that they need too. Now here I go with another crawler. Get him to crawl down in there. I think this... No, I need two more. I did have two and one of the other guys ended up killing the second one. But this is... This is one of the things that takes the longest part to get the skull bow is to get the six crawlers now if you throw a grenade right and no one comes into that courtyard while you're making the crawlers and you throw the grenade right and uh get six crawlers and you're able to kill you know the other zombies without uh without killing your six crawlers you can get them to come right down in there and it would do the ritual like right now now see I only needed one but had two so it's no big deal and that one's done now actually the voice is telling me the three knights that I have to go see to get his name those three knights and it was heart stag and horn now I didn't realize how to do this part so, I mean, I cut out a lot of the video I shot because it actually did take me almost an hour and a half to get this bow last night. And actually, before I go see the knights, see that symbol there, I have to kill a ton, a shitload of zombies to get three of those, at least three. I mean, it doesn't hurt to get all six, to get six of those things. But, uh... Once you get those, at least three, as long as you know the three knights that you have to see, you'll, you'll uh, learn the name of the, the voice. And I'm trying something right there, hoping that, you know, if I shoot the zombies within the circle, it gives me, you know, but it doesn't. And what I'm at, you know, if I shoot the zombies within the circle would be able to give me them power-ups faster. And of course, right there, the video cut, but that's because I went down and I didn't, you know. And I think at this point right here... Yeah, I've gone to see the knights once, and, you know, I didn't understand this whole part, but uh, I'm going to show you what happens 
if you don't get his name right. Because those symbols are his name. And it's telling me right there, it said, you know, the three ones I shot, and it says, that is not my name. And if you stay in this room, it'll drop you. It doesn't kill you, it just drops you. But if you do it, and it's not the right name, as long as you run out there in the courtyard or down to the tunnel to my left right now, it doesn't kill you. The only reason it, it dropped me is because I was still down in there. If I'd gone out of that room, it wouldn't have killed me. So here comes Cheetos. Cheetos is going to pick me up. And uh, another small trick to uh, getting this, and I'll, it'll be in the video here in a minute, is if you didn't hear the, the, the nights that you have to go to the first time or you've forgotten it, just go shoot that urn with the arrow again. And the voice will tell you which nights you have to go see again. So you can do that as many times as you want. And uh, it'll tell you which which ones you got to see. And that's the one thing that was really, really holding me up for so long. Is because I didn't know that step. But uh, Smiley told me that step. And after that, it was, uh, you know, just quick. Once I heard the knight's names over again... I got a, another one of the power-up things you collect by killing a bunch of zombies now. I can't really see this on my TV. I could last night. I think that, yeah, that's heart right there. That's the first symbol I will have to shoot in a ritual room in them circles. Uh, that's Griffin. Uh, you don't want that one. So I didn't hit that one. And I thought there was another knight up that way. Um... Door or lock, one of the two. Um, that's crown. And there's nothing there. And see, I didn't... Uh, that's stag, I do believe. I was stupid for shooting that last zombie. Yeah, that's stag. And right over there is horn. So, there's... There's the voice's name. So now that I got that, I go back to the ritual room. And shoot the three circles in order. Um, yeah, it does have to be in order. Right there's the first one. And the three triangles right there, that's the second one. Yeah, that room was filling up with zombies. I shoot that one. And then shoot that one. And, well, I missed that one. The last one. There, I got it. And it says the three, three names. And it says, that's my name. Well, because, you know, we're in the middle of the round. Zombies are, like, running everywhere like man. So, now that the urn drops back down in. And... What I'm doing is, you know, killing all the zombies and stuff. During this point, you know, a big horde comes down in, and I end up getting hit from the left, and I fell down. Well, now you go up to that, now that that bright beam's shooting up out of there, and you hit a square, and it'll drop the pieces down in there. And, uh, like, two seconds later, a full arrow, the, the voice will put that arrow together, the pieces that you collected to start the the quest and it'll put that drop them down and put the arrow together and then pop it back up out and you bring it to this box it's on the dragon end on the juggernaut side now you put the arrow in the chest and then you just wait around for zombies to come you kill them zombies which i think it was about 10 or 15 zombies is what it took me to uh fill up the chest with uh, Z souls and let's see here yeah this is a s slow part because all the zombies are you know they're totally bypassing me like I'm invisible over there and stuff 
bit. I think this zombie, yeah, this one I, it took three arrows to get him. But see the, the soul going into the box. And actually he was the last zombie, so. But I think Cheeto's actually, when it gets down to it. Oh yeah, right here's where uh, the double uh, panzers came in. So I ended up trying to get away from them, dying a couple times, and this video was so drug out. You should have seen me editing it. It, it was all kinds of fun. Well, I'm going to use that, but I don't want it so long, and yep. Spin around there, and there's another soul in the box, and there went another one, and that guy didn't give me a soul, which was BS. And all my damn dogs barking here because I don't know if someone's coming to the house or something. I don't know. But it's a big pain in the ass. I think while well, one soul's trying to drop down and now I don't know. That might not be true because later on here right before I get the bow... Um, I drop two and two souls go in at the same time, so that can't be it. But no, oh, my cousin's outside and uh, talking, and the dogs are barking and shit. And being a YouTuber with a bunch of people living around can be a pain in the ass sometimes. You need quiet sometimes to do audio commentary like I am here. And, you know, they just do their own thing. Oh, there it is. There's the double soul I was talking about. And I'm like, dang, how many zombies do I got to kill? Because I killed a bunch of them here. And, uh. Because I don't know if it makes a sound or anything when it's okay when you can get the... Here we go. Yep, there goes three right there. And I think those are the final three that I actually killed. To, uh... But I'm going to kill one more and no soul went in there. Be why? Because Cheeto shot his electric bow and it just don't work. Well, I accidentally hit a nuke there so I'm like... I think I said, no, oh, forget it, I'll give it a try and stuff. And I go down there, and the arrow actually looks different right there. So I put my bow in, and by hitting square, and sure as crap, it spit out me the skull bow. And right there it is. And I'm going to tell you, this is the toughest bow to get. The fire one's almost as equally as tough. Um... But all in all, the electric bow, it's easy to get. The wolf bow, I haven't gotten either of those yet. I'm still making videos on those. Yeah, who would know that the first bow I get, the first video I make on these elemental bows, would be the toughest one to get. But I did it, and now that you've done the tough one, the, the easy ones are going to just be that easy. But... All in all, I had a great time thanks to Smiley, Brotherhood, and Cheetos. So hopefully you guys uh, check out the video. And, you know, tell all your friends to uh, check out Striker 101 Productions. Uh, like this video. Leave a comment. Subscribe. And until next time, see ya. This has been a Striker 101 production.